Okay, so I'm Dr. Nicole Ross. I'm the incoming Low Vision uh, Fellow this year at William Rye Institute. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, visual field measurements for low vision patients. So getting an understanding of the overall peripheral and central visual fields is pretty essential to what we do in terms of understanding um, the type of vision loss that the patient has experienced to manage the vision loss from a disease standpoint and then also to understand what um, functional adaptations can be made. Um, so there's a very various devices out there in terms of um, that offer field enhancement. We have white cane orientation mobility training, getting a good field measurement um, really enhances uh, the, the complete picture to, so that the patient gets the appropriate training and device. Um, so this is a Goldman um, peripheral visual field. And one of the unique features about it is it actually measures right out to the very limit of the visual field, right out to 90 degrees. Um, most visual field machines used in um, practices actually have a diameter bowl that's about two-thirds this size, so only measure out to 60 um, and often only to 30 degrees. So when we're talking about walking, driving, you know, what are the absolute limits of this person's capabilities we really need sort of this measurement? And actually when we go inside, uh, here, um, I've got on the wall several different visual field plots from um, different patients and clients. Um, so these upper two have got the right eye on the right and the left eye on the left. And so you can see for the right eye, um, this out is towards the nose for the right eye um, and out towards the ear. So for each eye we see more kind of out towards the ear than we do towards the nose and that's sort of uh, very normal. And all of us have a uh, physiological blind spot, a normal blind spot that represents the location of the optic nerve where there's no sensitive light cell. Um, when we go here, this is a patient who suffered um, from stroke and they've lost half the visual field um, from stroke and that's for both eyes. So this is cortical vision loss. So they've had a stroke, in this case, on the right side of the occipital cortex resulting in loss of vision on the left. Um, and they've also often have you know, left-sided weakness amongst other, other things. So, you know, recovering from a stroke and navigating um, can be tremendously difficult for these patients and often they have a misconception about what type of vision loss they have. They think their left eye may be, um, not be functioning right and really know it's the left in both eyes. Um, and this can be a useful tool for, to, for patient education, um, but also for the sampling that there are different strategies for visual field enhancements for these patients um, to help them walk safely. Um, a couple of my patients remind me how difficult it is to navigate with only half your vision because um, one gentleman reminded me, I was walking along and I was noticing all the landmarks, the bagel shop, the bank, so that I could find my way back, but I turn around and it's like there's a whole new street. <laughs> and I had to, you know, really... I had to back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I had to walk backwards. So, <laughs> probably have to walk backwards on the same side, so it can be very disorienting. Um, this patient um, has severe visual field constriction. So, so when we look oh at this God. field, this outer ring represents um, the limit of the visual field. So they can see inside that ring um, and nothing outside. Um, she's got a little island of vision here. So navigation for this type of patient is tremendously difficult. And this is really where we need to think about white cane training and other strategies for safety. Um, and you know, it can be difficult because the visual acuity might be really good. It might not be that, um, you know, 2200 that we think about when we think about legal blindness, but this patient would meet the definition of, of legal blindness based on the visual field, even though her, you know, she may be able to read down the chart very well, but finding each letter on the chart and tracking along may be very difficult. And the other field we have here is a patient with macular degeneration. So we've got these grayed out bits in here which represent um, points within the eye soft or within the seeing area that are on. So she's got a lot of central blind spots. And if for a patient like that, this uh, MP1 machine is actually tremendously useful for mapping the blind spots. Um, 